Hey guys, Anthony, 4 before losing. Quick video. Yep, be pretty quick. Important one though. Just about simple things. Drive belts. Okay, drive belts. I just want to explain why I believe it's important when service and repairing your Toyota, you use Toyota genuine drive belts. Now, a lot of brands, you know, in belts and stuff, some of them may be OEM, which is Original Equipment Manufacturer, right? OEM suppliers, right? So that's cool. But there's how many different brands of makes and models? Well, not models. How many different makes of motor vehicles are there, right? How many are there? Heaps. I don't know. I don't even know. Wouldn't bother counting. Dozens and dozens, if not hundreds, right? Anyway. They vary in quality a lot, okay? So, I've worked on many, dozens of brands over the dozens of decades. Dozens? Yeah, we can say dozens, because more than two has got an S. Yeah, so dozens of brands over dozens of decades, and the quality of each manufacturer and what they use varies a lot. So, when you go and use a brand like, and we're not necessarily picking on Gates or Daco or McKay or any of these or whatever brands right they're just common Gates and Daco are common aftermarket brands in the automotive aftermarket industry right now and a lot of people use them and they just don't see you know they go yep yeah, you know on their Fords and Holdens and whatever you know Holden Astra and whatever and they use their kits and you know yeah no problem whatever when you've got a okay so let's say uh, if quality on a scale of one to ten right let's say one is it's very average as in you know crap sorry i said i was going to be quick but now i've got into a bit more detail so one's crap ten's as good as it gets right let's just say gates and daco there you know i don't know about a six let's just say they're about a six so they're on the better side of you know they're not bad but they're not good they're a little bit better than just in the middle there maybe let's just say Maybe they're sevens, you know, ballpark. We're just throwing a figure out there to give an example. Some quality of original manufacturer's belts, maybe they're a five or a four or a three or a six or a seven or an eight, right? But what I'll say is, because this is what we work on and this is what we're talking about, the Toyota stuff, it's a 10, okay? The belts are a 10, okay? So... If you're working on, let's just use an example, a Holden Astra, right, probably not a good example, you know, a Holden, a VN Commodore, right, to put a Gates or a Daco belt on it is kind of okay because the crappy Holden belt and the crappy Daco belt, you know, not picking, I'm just saying, you know, put them in the same bucket together, as in they're about that quality, so it doesn't really matter whether you use genuine, and I can tell you, we're getting genuine serpentine belts on those, I reckon they were down to about 20 bucks or something anyway 20 30 that sort of money but anyway on the you know those cars like some air filters were down to 10 bucks at some stage but you know things change anyway right they get onto the it's a bit of a, i call it the rip off thing but anyway and these belts right these toyota belts well you know yeah you, you can see it's got the um you know that says toyota there right toyota right toyota genuine but if we keep looking further around, right, here's a tip, and I'm not saying, right, Toyota, let's keep going, oh, Bando, Bando, it doesn't say Gates, doesn't say Daco or anything else, it says Bando, so in my opinion, Bando's a good manufacturer. Now, let me just add this in the mix, though, just to confuse things a little bit more, right? Basically, basically, right, just because you, you might think, oh, we'll get a Bando belt. That's after an OEM supplier, right? But there's got to be, look, there's different belts, right? So the specific um, recipe to this belt, right, is what Toyota request. Now, I note on a lot of vehicles, a lot of vehicles that come in Pradas, and I don't think you can use this belt because this is, you know, off different, you know, Prada Hilux, they're different, whatever as well, right? So... Just beware of that. Don't try and go, oh yeah, you know, there's the part number or whatever off this one and because it won't necessarily be the right one for your vehicle. What I'm trying to say is 
heaps of vehicles have had gates and deco belts replaced and you know they come in and they've got a bit of a squeak or a bit of a noise and you go oh yeah you know it's probably the belt or the bearing or whatever and you go and then people or someone's buying a kit and they're going oh yeah no it's had the had the belt replaced already and you know that's the one thing you don't do because it's been done and there's still a noise there and when you get rid of that damn belt the noise is gone and I'll give you an example. The reason I thought of this video is because I haven't talked about dry belt specifically before and I really want to share this information because it's important. These belts are just top quality and really suitable and I'm going to give you some more reasons why in a minute but I had a vehicle here the other day. What was it? Um, was it a Prado or Hilux? Yeah, I can't remember. Sorry. Um, I can't remember whose car it was or what car it was but look I've got to be completely honest here, you know, it had some work done on it, the belt had been changed, right? But the belt wasn't the problem, sorry dude, it was the bearings, you know, they didn't change the bearings, so it's going, because that's what happens, okay, okay, I remember that was a Hilux, I remember that, that was a, eh, no, nah, I remember the car now, it was a Hilux, that's right, he went somewhere, he got the timing belt changed, I don't know what they did. All I know is they used an Arthur Bucket brand, I think it was a Daco, the sticker. And then we went, and he was complaining about noises, and he got the car back, and it was even noisier afterwards, right? And they replaced the drive belt. And I can only assume, I couldn't tell what brand the belt was, because the back of it, see here where you've got these white marks and it's rough, there wasn't, I couldn't see any writing. It was just black and slick, like it had been slipping. Now, I can't see any reason why the belt would have been slipping, right? Um, it looked like that, right? It was really smooth. Some belts are like that on there. They're really smooth. These belts are really cool. They've got like a really coarse kind of dry finish on them, right? They never slip. I've never heard a squeal. Now, even on, again, going back to the Fawns and Holdens, every now and then you could get a squeal out of them. And that's where, you know, the Gates, Deco, or the OEM quality they had. And I don't know, maybe one of those manufacturers made it for them. And that's why they all seem to be about the same sort of quality, you know? Around the middle of the road there, what do we say? You know, a four, five, six, or seven, I don't really care. But these are a 10. And I've had other Bando belts that are a eight, maybe, or a nine, or a seven, whatever. But they're not these belts. You've got to get the genuine Toyota one, to my knowledge. And this is obviously what we supply in the big front engine kit. And it's really important that, you know, you don't go, oh, yeah, no, we already had the belt replaced. Or, and this goes for the timing belts as well, I suppose, because I've probably said before in other videos, when you know they last 150,000 Ks, and we know they do, I've seen them at higher Ks than that. I probably shouldn't tell you. I've seen them at, you know, whatever, really, you know, and I've never seen a belt that's broken, never heard of one. And when I look at these belts that are long overdue, Tom, over to Tom belts for a sec, they never look like they're about to fail, okay? So that for the people that want to ask, oh, is it okay if I leave my timing belt an extra 2,000K and they're worried about it? Don't ask me that question. I'm not going to be the guy that says, yeah, it'll be fine. I've seen them at 180 or 200,000 Ks or one skipped one and it made it to 300 and it looked fine as well. Don't ask me that question. I'm not going to take the responsibility, okay? It's cheap enough that you can do it every 150. 150 is a long time. Just do it. Now, if you've gone somewhere and they've done just the belt and you realise that, you know, a lot of people do little things, you know, there was someone I spoke to today and, you know, oh, look, yeah, I just wish, I suppose, and I bet we all wish that you got this information before you went and got your last bit of work done and the one before that or before you purchased those parts because you can see the information's good and we really need to keep doing this so you can avoid and keep that feeling, right? So... Um, back to drive belts. These suckers, I've never seen one deteriorated. Now, I've seen, okay, and our 4B4 Diesel Workshop partners have seen other brands of belts that have been put on vehicles that you know have been replaced. They haven't done anywhere near the kilometres these things do. We see these at two or 300,000 Ks. Now, what happens is they stretch a little bit and it goes out of the belt range. And, of course, it gets to a point where how long is a piece of string? And you go, for the sake of, you know, whatever they're worth, you're doing that. That's why we call it the big front engine job and do the time belt, the idler, the tensioner, the cam syllabus leaking, the drive belt, all the bearings, butter boom, the whole lot, the coolant, the reverse flush to the road, do the whole lot. 
and for the sake of that little bit extra you just put a new one on there so then you know it's new it's not going to break it's 100 percent reliable it hasn't it's not stretched out of the belt because there's the automatic tension all right it's got to be within a certain range between that and that you know it's like the one to ten thing it needs to be about five and as it stretches it goes towards say ten and once it, you know not so good so you put a new belt on if you've gone and got some of this work done and then you come to us or one of the four before days of workshop partners and you're getting Oh, you know, now the water pump's leaking and then you oh, but the timing belt's been done. You might, if all they did was the timing belt and they used a daycare or a gates or something like that, you might be just better off to just do the whole thing again. This is the point, just do the whole thing, and then you're good for another 150,000 Ks. Yeah, I used to think differently about this. Um, you know, it was like, well, what's, you know, why don't we just reuse the tension? I've never seen one fail, right? I've never seen one fail. So why replace it? I can't see it failing. Maybe let's just do it at... 300,000 Ks if you like. Um, but then the other way to look at it was, you know what, look at the money you invest in the vehicle, look how you're using it for the sake of an extra, look, you know, tension is an old, you know, they're not cheap, so they're about a hundred or so dollars, you know. You know, you just do the whole damn thing. Anyway, back onto the belt thing. I've never seen a better quality drive belt than these. I love the finish on them on both sides, right? Both sides of the belt. It's just butter boom, butter bing. They're made by Bando, and the actual Bando ones you can buy are not the same as these. So use one of these, right? It's butter, boom, butter, bing, butter, bing, butter, boom. So if you got something out of that, hopefully you did. Thumbs up, subscribe, turn the bell on. Stick to genuine parts when it comes to the drive belt on the Toyota engines. Now, when it's other brands, that's up to you. If you've got a Nissan, whatever, I don't know. I don't work on those. I never, never take that much notice. It's been years, man. If you've got a Mazda, you've got a BT50, you got a whatever you got, I don't know. I'm, you know, I've never seen a belt as good quality as this. Unfortunately, you can't put a Toyota belt on a Mazda or a Nissan. Well, maybe you can sometimes. But anyway, guys, hopefully that's helped. And bada bing, bada boom. See ya.